Hi, it's Darnell with Wave Oven Recipes. Let's try meatloaf in the new Wave Oven. Okay, so this recipe is called meatloaf with instant oatmeal. And what I have here is one large egg. I've got two pounds of ground beef. I'm using uh, 97% uh, 93, 93% lean. 7% fat, but use whatever type of uh, ground beef you prefer. I just like mine very lean, so that's what I'm using two pounds of here. I will say and caution that you probably don't want to go more as far as meatloaf. If you try and put a really big meatloaf in the new wave oven, you're probably going to burn over the top and uh, it's going to be real crunchy on the top and not good. So I try and keep it to no more than two pounds, and that's my limit for. Uh, meatloafs. Okay, I've also got one package of maple and brown sugar uh, oatmeal that I'll be using. I have one tablespoon of yellow mustard, one tablespoon of uh, a gray poupon. Uh, you can use Dijon. I've got a deli mustard, but some type of spicy mustard just to give it a little kick. I've got one quarter of an onion chopped up here got one cup of milk. I'm just going to be using salt and pepper to personal taste preference. And I've also got some Pam spray here. I'm just going to take the Pam and I'm just going to spray uh, a foil lining that I put on the one inch rack there. So now I'll get started into the actual preparation of all the ingredients for this meatloaf. Okay, so time to get these ingredients prepared and I'll say uh, for you, prepare the ingredients to your preference and liking. I know a lot of people say, well, you should do this like that, maybe you should put the oatmeal in the milk and so on, but I do mine my own way and you can do yours your way. I say with meatloaf, no rules at all, do it the way you like it. I've stirred up my egg here, just whisked it to uh, get it stirred up. I'm going to throw in... Uh, just the salt and pepper now just to get those out of the way before going further now I'm going to pour my egg in I just like to really first I just like to really dunk all my ingredients in on top of one another and then start mixing I'm not one who uh, likes to do much uh, mixing of things beforehand because uh, usually when I'm making meatloaf I'm in a hurry I just want to throw those ingredients together smash them mash them up and uh, get going with the cook so we got the oatmeal in there get that yellow mustard knocked in there Get this spicy deli mustard in there, or Dijon mustard if that you have that on hand, or whichever you like. But I think uh, something with a little kick is what I like. But like I said, do what you like. If you don't like spicy, that's okay. Get these onions in here. those in. I'm just going to pour my milk in and then start uh, mixing ingredients together. And actually I'm using unsweetened vanilla almond milk by the way. I know someone's saying this milk looks a little brown. <laughs> it's because it's unsweetened vanilla almond milk. It's not uh, the cow milk. But any type of uh, milk that you can use for cooking. Alright, so I've got my uh, meat and ingredients all well mixed together, so now I'm going to use my loaf pan here for form and just kind of slide the new wave oven out there a little bit. Drop that meatloaf in that loaf pan just to give it that nice loaf form. Get it 
nice and formed. Now that I've got my nice meatloaf form, I'm going to drop that on the one inch rack with the foil, like so. And get my gloves off, if I can get them off. Once I get my gloves off, I'll bring you back. Alright, so got my gloves off finally. Now uh, I'm going to put that lid on. And since I've got two pounds, I'm going to try a cook time of, uh, let's try uh, 45. If it looks done before that, I'll stop it. But uh, with a pound and a half, I usually do about 35 minutes. So I'm giving it 10 extra minutes at an extra half pound, but see how it looks. And uh, also do a meat thermometer test at the end. But hit start there. Bring you back when uh, this looks like it's good and done. Okay, so just 35 minutes have passed. There's 10 minutes left on there, 45 minutes I set. But I'm going to hit the pause there. Just check the temp now. It may already be uh, good and done. So, set my meat thermometer there, set the beef. We'll see how far it gets. Definitely not, not done yet. Gonna give it that last 10 minutes, see if it finishes up. A pound and a half meatloaf, maybe 10 minutes. Well, usually 10 minutes. I mean, usually 35 minutes. Usually 35 minutes for a pound and a half meatloaf. But uh, this one, being two pounds, needs a little more time. So bring you back about 10 minutes. Okay, that full 45 minutes is now complete. Going to take the lid off here. Going to use my meat thermometer. Check our temp out. See if it's almost there, one fifty nine. It's almost there. There it is, 160. Well done. So, 45 minutes for two pounds. 35 minutes for a pound and a half. That's just fine. But this two pounder, 45 and done. So, going to get a piece off of here. Don't you see the inside of the meat there? It's well done. And I'm going to change the camera around and do the taste test. Okay. Meatloaf with instant oatmeal. Piping hot. And we're going in for a bite. Make sure I don't burn myself. delicious meatloaf. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can share the video with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and good eating.